One of the major components in several power system assets like transformers, circuit breaker, GI system is the bushing. The bushing basically is a hollow insulator and it is the connection between the outside world, which is either underground cable or overhead lines conductors, and the inside structure of that asset. So if we take this example as, for example, the transformer, you will have that the high voltage is coming connected to the terminal here, and then the conductor will go all over the uh, through the pushings, and you can see it here, connected to the winding of the transformer. Now, that structure will lead to a problem, which is generating a very high electrical stress between the bushing and the the tank. Why is that? Because in the middle of the bushing here, you have the high voltage conductor. So you will have a very high electrical stress here in the middle. Now, here you have a grounded structure. Now, so here we have high voltage, full voltage. Here we have zero voltage. Now, what is an electrical stress? Electrical stress is basically the rate of a change of the voltage. So if you only take the X direction of the uh, of the field here, so it's dV by dx. So you have a high jump of the voltage from full to zero in a very short distance. So we will have here in this area very high electrical stress. So unless we try or we, we will uh, use techniques to control the stress here, you will have high field to generate corona on the surface and arcing on the surface. The question is how we can control the electrical stress in bushings. Please join me in this video to discuss this important issue about controlling electric field in outdoor high voltage bushings. Okay, hi everyone. Okay, so let's answer the question now, how I can grade the electrical stress at these areas in transformers or in circuit breakers where you have the high voltage conductor going through the bushing and the tank is basically grounded. So these are two uh, or this is our uh, susceptible area for high electrical stress, which may lead to uh, initiation of corona on the surface of the insulator, which might lead as well into a flash flashover. Okay. So just to have a look to the high electrical stress that happened here. Uh, so we use some uh, equipotential lines to, to see that. So this is the bushing. So this is the high voltage conductor here. This is your high voltage conductor going through the transformer uh, tank. This is the mounting flange where this is where it is grounded. So that area, this is the area of interest. Here we have the equipotential stress. Now, when you look to the equipotential lines here, you see that this area, the equipotential lines are very close to each other. It means that you have an electrical stress. Always remember that the magnitude of the electrical stress basically is equal to the rate of a change of the voltage. So if the voltage is changing in one direction, we call it dV by dx. If it's changing in more than one direction, then you will have the corresponding dV by that specific incremental uh, distance. So the bottom line here, if the electric voltage change from one point to another over a short distance, over wide range, you will have very high electrical stress. And you can see here, so clearly these two points are much closer then, for example, these two points, although the voltage difference is just 5%. So from this to this is 5%, the voltage difference. And between these two points is 5%. Between every two points is, is 5%. And clearly here you can see that the equipotential lines are closer to each other at the area where you have the high voltage in one side and the ground is in the other side. So how we control the stress? We'll talk about the most two common methods that we use them in pushing. The first one is to use devices to redistribute the stress. And basically we use for that the corona corona ring. Second one is to have embedded conductors inside the device, which is basically using of the condenser pushing. So let's see the first one. So here 
uh, this is a uh, 345 kV uh, circuit breaker. And you can see here clearly we have what we call the corona ring here at the bottom side. Okay. And when you look to the electrical stress, this is the previous uh, demonstration when you don't have any uh, controlling uh, or electric field controlling device, very high electrical stress here. Now, once you, you have the uh, grading ring or the corona ring here, the electric field lines or the echo potential lines would start to redistribute because now this is also grounded. This is ground. This is connected to the ground. Okay, so there will be redistribution in the electric field. And hence, you can see here that the difference between the echo potential lines has increased at this high stress area. And the location of this corona ring, either in the X direction or in the Y direction, plus the radius of that, this is an optimization problem. So depending on the configuration of the device, we will control the location of the, of the corona ring and the size of the corona ring as, as well. So this is one way to control the electrical stress. The other way is to redistribute the field inside the bushing itself. And how we can do that? Basically, we insert inside the bushing several la layers of aluminum foils. So now when you insert those in the aluminum foils, these are conductors. So each aluminum foil will have one voltage level. So that, for example, will have one voltage level. This will have a different voltage level and so on and so forth. And by controlling the distance between those foils, I am controlling the electrical stress. So I'm not leaving the electrical stress to take a shape based on the geometry or the original geometry of the bushing, but I am forcing the echo potential lines to follow the, uh, those aluminum foil distribution inside these, these bushings, and that will make the electric field much more uh, uniform. So as I mentioned, once you energize the bushing, these foils basically will have, will be actually, will forming the echo potential uh, cylinder or the echo potential lines inside the, uh, the bushing. So now we'll have like capacitors, okay? So we, you have an uh, energized capacitor with different potentials. And this is why we call this a condenser bushing. A condenser basically is another name for the, for the capacitor. When we look to the electric field distribution, so to the right here, uh, we have a bushing with the uh, aluminum foil inserted inside. To the left, you will have the uh, echo potential lines without those aluminum foil. And clearly here you can see, for example, this is at zero potential, this is 25%. So you can see here the, uh, the distance between the two, okay? But when you look here to the left, the distance between the zero and the 25% is much, much smaller. Again, the electric field is the rate of a change of the voltage. So here I am allowing much more distance for the voltage to change and hence, I am controlling the electrical stress. So these are the most two common commercially available techniques to control the uh, bushing, the electric field inside the bushing. 